She arrived in Gibraltar in April of last year, after it was announced in the 2021 defence paper that HMS Trent would be permanently based at Gibraltar as part of the Gibraltar squadron for operations in the Mediterranean. Commanding officer Tom Knott says working from Gibraltar has been fantastic. It was our, our first stop as we uh, came into the Mediterranean and it acts as a, uh, a hugely strategic location for us to deploy into the Mediterranean, the Black Sea, uh, West Africa last year and that's where we will return to in September this year. So it's a real mounting hub for us uh, for operations and it ensures that we're able to deploy in a sustainable and resilient uh, fashion. We are um, huge fans of Gibraltar in terms of the support we get as a ship maintenance and the facilities that the, uh, the headquarters offers us, but also for my ship's company. Uh, Gibraltar has always been a home away from home for us, and they enjoy interacting with the, the locals, but also uh, all of the downtime and rest and recuperation you can achieve in Gibraltar. He says the last year has been a challenging one as a NATO nation with invasion of Ukraine. We joined NATO um, standing maritime task group number two, in the Mediterranean, uh, which was headed by the Italian Navy at the time. Uh, it was the first time that the Royal Navy has deployed a patrol vessel into that task group. And uh, we headed into the Eastern Mediterranean to uh, conduct operations and exercises with that task group. We uh, quickly moved from that one to a second NATO task group where we uh, conducted Western Mediterranean security operations and uh, conducted a visit to Morocco, Tangier. Uh, and, that, and that was about um, building relations with uh, NATO allied nations uh, before finally we conducted our flying trials for this flight deck that we're standing on today uh, with a helicopter that was operating out of Gibraltar. So um, it's been a, a, a year of variety for us so far and we're looking forward to uh, deploying in September to uh, again Africa, uh, Gulf of Guinea and uh, hopefully a circumnavigation this time. This weekend, the HMS Trent opened its doors to the public. Oh, it's it's uh, the, the best way of communicating what life is like on board a warship. Uh, we, we've got uh, many means of uh, media outlet uh, through um, naval publications or social media, but uh, the way that we, we always find the best to communicate to the public what life is really like on board a ship is by interacting with my sailors. So today there are some um, stands of, and demonstrations on show where we can show off our armaments and uh, our, our way that we deal with firefighting on board, how we conduct navigation, but ultimately what I really want is for the public to speak to my sailors and ask them, uh, ask them how life is on board the ship. Uh, and I'm sure they'll be very frank in communicating that.